Well, the first thing I tell for the people that fall in, into that group, I said, the first thing I say is really, really focus on your employer's benefits, right? Okay. For a lot of people, this is open enrollment time. Right. right. And for the average American, the majority of their resources are really given through their employer benefits packages. Right. So it's a good time to start there. Take a look, be mindful of the deadlines, because a lot of us, you know, we get that email from HR and we say like, oh, we've got a week or two weeks or whatever it may be, and time goes by and, and then you get that final reminder, this is your last day, and you just rush through yeah. and just do what you did last yeah, year. Yeah, you react instead of be proactive. Exactly. Yeah. But take the time to go through it. Um, for many Americans, one of the most costly things things from a lifestyle standpoint is anything related to health care, health insurance, and things like that. Right. So take the time <clears throat> and go back through the year and really see what was your medical use like. And take a look at the premiums, the changes. Almost every company has increases in, in their premiums. Some companies are switching from you know, more traditional HMOs, a lot are pushing a lot more um, high deductible plans and health savings accounts. Right. So really sit down and take a look at your family's unique situation, your family's cash flow, and compare. Right. And take a comparison. For some people, taking the high deductible plan, maxing out the HSA right. is the right thing for their right. family. For people who have ongoing medical issues, chronic issues or children that have something that's kind of a chronic ongoing thing. Yeah. May maybe, not be the best choice. maybe it makes sense to make a little bit of higher premium because you can manage your cash flow as you're dealing with these medical expenses. Yeah. In an ideal world, yeah. you don't have medical expenses. You max out your HSA, you save that for future, but that's not always reality yeah. for every family. Well, and then also with the flexible spending accounts or use it and lose it. So it. if you haven't used all the money in your flexible spending account, you lose that. Take a time. So those are the kind of things you have to look at Absolutely. in terms of benefits. As well as kind of plan for the upcoming year. You know, maybe you're using um, child care flexible spending plan, right? But your kids are transitioning out and they're not really going to be using daycare anymore. Right. Well, does it make sense to put the same amount of money in there? Because it is a use it or lose right. it type of situation. Right. So take a look at where you are this year and where you are next year and compare the different options that you've got. Mm -hmm.